Hey wonderful people, what's going on? Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh once again and this is the second video I'm going to be doing back to back uh, for uh, today's uh, take, okay? So uh, I have a fragrance from, it's sort of like a blast from the past, okay? It's a house of Ralph Lauren, no one talks about La Ralph Lauren anymore these days except few new uh, releases and stuff. But this one, it's a release of 1994. And uh, this bottle was sent to me by one of my dear brothers, brother Shafi, Shafi Bhai, also known as Shoikat Bhai. He's a fellow reviewer in Bangladesh. And he has a lot of unboxing and fragrance reviews, initial impressions on his channel. I'll leave his link below. You guys can check him out if you like those kind of videos. So he is a very dear friend of mine since I came here in Bangladesh. I got here 2016, December, October. Uh, since then, we have been very good friends and very close uh, colleagues you can say uh, we work together in Precom. so he sent me this bottle right here as you can see this bottle is almost empty and he has it has a little bit juice left it's pretty much uh, enough to do the review and as you can see from the atomizer this is not the blue atomizer which is the old formulation so this fragrance belonged to his uncle some long time ago 15 years or something or more than that so i believe this is i haven't checked the batch code you guys can check it for me it says GU237, okay? It's written here. So you guys can put it up and just check, but as long as this one had uh, like a silver atomizer, this is considered to be pre-reformulation. So we'll talk about that. And uh, he also sent me side by side few more. One of them is Bulgari Blue, uh, BLV Blue, I guess, Purum. So this fragrance, it's, uh, I think it got a little bit spoiled with the top note. I can smell a lot of alcohol in it, but dry down is pretty okay so this is a vintage version also belongs to his uncle and he gave me uh, this bottle uh, this is paul smith man i will do a review in time so you see the cute little bottle green classy bottle and uh, another one he sent me was uh, david of good life okay these are all classic bottles and belong the juice color as you can see is starting very rich and these all belong to his uncle another one last one it's my favorite this is pakoraban purom the vintage version this and my Pakuraban Purum, they are not the same, okay? This is more modern interpretation of this one. So I'll review this in time. Got plenty of juice left inside, and I really love this. This is pretty much the OG of the fragrance game. So let's focus in the video. Uh, let's start at some point. Polo, it's one fragrance house. has a lot of fragrances, just like Hugo Boss, Davidoff. CK, they are known for their fragrances. They have a lot of fragrances. So I used to own Safari from La Ralph Lauren. I sold it off. I didn't worry that much. Then I had um, a Ralph Lauren Polo Green. I sold it off because I couldn't wear it. So now I think I have these four left. Polo Blue, which I really love. Polo Blue EDP, I would like to get someday. Uh, this is Polo Black, which I had like for a very long time since Malaysia. Beautiful mango note in there. Then I have this current two as my favorites, okay? Supreme Leather and Supreme Mood. If you haven't checked these out, these are different level, <laughs> not your typical polo. And polo also has this red line, and they have uh, polo, uh, I think there are some other lines, you know, polo has some other fragrances. But let's focus on this one. So this one was released in 2000, uh, 1994, long time ago, long, long time ago. I think I was a teenager back then, and this fragrance has been used by many many men back in time and they will have good memories of this one because uh, this one when it came out it was the fragrance this is the proper fragrance as a sporty fresh daily kind of uplifting fragrance at that time nowadays we have a lot of other fragrances but this one doesn't get talked about much because it got reformulated now has the new uh, blue sprayer version just like this bottle color the atomizer will be blue so that one, I think the last import is really poor on it, but the price is very high. So I tried that and I'll compare this with that one a little bit. And I don't have a box for it, I just have the bottle. So I'm showing you. I think my good friend, brother Steven from Belgium, he also has this bottle. So good for you, brother. I hope you enjoy that bottle. So it has this American flag. It's a typical, it just comes to my mind, American. It's, it's everything American about this, okay? Like USA, you just put salute, you know? And it says, uh, Polo Sport and Ralph Lauren. The fonts are coming off a little bit. There's a sticker. And the cap, it's not very heavy, plastic, chromish. And the sprayer, I'll spray this. I have the dry down here. I'll spray this once again, okay? You can see, okay? We'll talk about this. I'm gonna use this little bit juice for a very long time. So yeah, 
Wow, this is really magical, okay? So this is a classic fragrance. You cannot find this readily available anywhere except eBay or somewhere. Its price is going to be really, really expensive for this vintage version. Ah, oh, man, this is something else. Um, I'll tell you one thing. There is nothing like it in current market, you know? There are a lot of fresh fragrances, a lot of aquatic, like, bright fragrances, watery and everything, but this one smells still very unique, okay? Uh, compared to the this one compared to this one the newer version it doesn't smell the same on the opening i do not get all the beautiful notes that i get from this one i get lots of lots of notes from this for some reason it just gets like uh aldehydes to my nose it's very bright uh, like a clean day sunny day sort of think of like that imagine like a basketball player he's wearing those headbands and stuff he's wearing his uh, proper attire to go for sports this one i am thinking like a basketball player easy uh, this also got a lot of citruses, a lot of green notes. I don't know. I also get hint of pineapple from this. I don't know. Maybe just just my nose. But it's a very, uh, like, a lot of notes in this fragrance. It doesn't smell like just another blue fragrance, okay? So it has this aquatic watery note. It got aldehyde, 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 aldehydes. It got those, I think, uh, maybe uh, something green as in, like, I don't know what it is. It's... Uh, sage or lavender is there as well. I don't remember all the notes, but it has a weird combination. Think of cool water in such a way, like it has similarities to that, okay? It has some connection to cool water, but way better. This one is way better, way fresher, and uh, it's not just citrus, it's not just water. Ah, oh, man, this actually reminds me of the good old days back in 90s when my elder brothers, you know, uh, they used to rock this fragrance. My uncles used to rock these fragrances. And my uncle used to be in the Navy, okay? So uh, he used to be later, he was a captain as well, and he traveled a lot. He used to have these bottles in his cupboard, okay? Uh, so it does smell very masculine, very sexy, and this particular version lasted a very long time, okay? It's not like 10 out of 10, but I think it used to last like at least uh, six, seven hours for the daytime, you know? it's I would recommend this if you wear this for the daytime the newer one something feels like not really uplifting it smells more uh, i don't know it's like a more modern day version of like a shadow of this you know i mean you can get that one but the top note this one smells really entirely different so there is the seaweed note in this i just remember i'm getting it now so it does also feel like deep sea diving like bulgari aqua uh this one this one, it's like, they, they are different fragrances altogether, but it does remind me of a little bit of the, that uh, aquatic, like deep sea, like bitter water kind of uh, feel. And also, as I mentioned to you, like cool water. I have my cool water somewhere. So this fragrance, it's like these same similar times, same, uh, like that era this was launched. So I can see even Vin Diesel would be super face for this fragrance. If he was the face for it, it would be awesome because... Uh, I would imagine Vin Diesel would be rocking this in a hot summer's day and driving his car. And, you know, it's like a manly, masculine, fresh fragrance, not just for sports, for every day, right? Very uplifting, very beautiful. Um, uh, the fragrance, I am just like really sad that you cannot find this readily available anymore. It would be a great seller, let's say, if it was released today, like they just launch it again relaunch it with the same formulation this was gonna be a top seller even despite having a lot of this other fragrance that you have so it is a league on its own right so those whoever is watching this those whoever love it uh love and respect to all of you i remember i i know this one served you really well you guys must have have had great memories of your father or let's say your family or let's say even if you served in the military you know it would remind you of top gun sort of a feel so i remember all the Terminator movies I used to watch back then, like when we were in school, Predator, you know, <laughs> a Commando. This fragrance would be like an ideal fragrance to wear if you're going for like a retro movie marathon or stuff for the whole night, right? So it's good for all that. It would be a little bit masculine, a little bit mature. I mean, uh, it's not really a sporty fragrance for teenagers as such, okay? I would imagine like 20 and up, like 25 and up. Those of the men already joined the workforce would love to rock this. Thank you, Shafi Bhai. Thank you so much for this experience. I rocked it a few days just to test it. It's really still magical. I don't know uh, how many years that it had, but 
great fragrance. So I'm not going to rate it for longevity, nothing, it's just a classic. If you find this version, grab it immediately, whatever price they're asking for. But do not pay $300, definitely. But even if you get it for 100 bucks, it's worth it, okay, for 100 ml bottle. So yeah, these are the great times of Ralph Lauren and one of their best fragrances, hands down. Uh, there's another fragrance I think it has a similarity to. I smelled that one like uh, two, three years back. That is the sport version of Polo, Polo Blue. So I believe that and this one has a lot of things in common. Even you see the blue is common, but this is not as blue as this one. This is more aquatic, uh, more, I really love this fragrance. Now this is, this is another one. This is a 10 for me. This is one of my signature scents. But uh, if you thought Polo is not a fragrance uh, brand or Ralph Lauren is a brand that you don't, you want to look at, this fragrance, even the new formulation, go and give it a try. There's nothing wrong with it. Give it a try, you may actually like it enough to pick it up for weekends, right? So, Ralph Lauren, Polo Sport, classic fragrance, always gonna be, always have been. And that's the review for it, uh, really uplifting fragrance. Really, it's uh, reminding me of all the good old days in our childhood and our, uh, like, uh, teenage days, right? Take care, guys, I'll talk to you soon, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.